Up and coming officers in the Royal Canadian Navy are practicing their maneuvers in the waters off CFB Esquimalt. Six Orca ships and a Cormorant helicopter have taken to the sea and sky as part of a navigation and seamanship training exercise to see if the young recruits have what it takes. CTV's Louise Hartland went along for the ride. Right in now, Jetty. Two, five, one. Take lower and skip. Three, two, five. Acting Sub-Lieutenant Emily Bellon navigates a Navy training vessel out of Esquimalt Harbor with precision. We have to be careful of all the dangers that we see to exit the ship safely, to not run aground or any other contacts, other ships that might be in the area. Range to Orca, 420 yards, steady. Bellon is one of five trainees aboard the patrol craft training vessel, under the watchful eye of 16 experienced crew. SSB 18. SSB 18. These platforms provide us with an opportunity to train the students off, uh, off a larger ship where there's a lot more operations going on rather than just the training of the students and get them prepared to integrate quickly into uh, the ship once they get posted to one. Six of the eight Orca-class ships are headed out to Constance Bank to perform a series of maneuvers planned and executed by the up-and-coming officers. Set speed one too. It's uh, a lot of stress, especially when you're doing maneuvers, but uh, it's a lot of uh, fun and it's quite rewarding. It's just teaching them the basics of, uh, of getting the ship into formation and how to calculate the courses and speeds required to position the ship where it needs to be. Weeks of studying and training pays off with an impressive nautical dance. When we're on actual deployments and, uh, and live operations, ships will operate in company and we'll do sector screens and formations uh, for operational purposes as well. In the next few weeks, the trainees will learn whether they have passed or failed and where their future lies. Yeah, there's a lot of different opportunities, a lot of different routes we can take, so we still have uh, two years about to figure out what specialization we want to do, so for sure take those two years and see what's out there exactly. But one thing is clear. I would really like to be able to get on deployment, see what it's like, get out there and get more experience on my job. Mark 200, John Craig by Transit. Sub-Lieutenant Ballon and the rest of the students are ready to serve their country. Louise Hartland, CTV News, aboard Naval Training Vessel Grizzly 60.